So you've just recorded drums for the first time and you don't know where to go from there. You've spent a lifetime on YouTube watching tutorials and somebody said to you, you should put everything in a bus, it helps you control the mix. And you're still none the wiser. Well, what is a drum bus? What does it do? What is it for? I'm going to tell you all about it in clown language. So let's get into it. So a bus is exactly what it sounds like. A bus. It's to carry other people, in this case, feeders. So let's just imagine that all of these are people and they're all wanting to get on the bus. Well, I'm going to hit Control and T and create a bus. There is a bus for all of those people. And we shall name it Drum Bus. So at the moment, all of these people, faders, are waiting at the bus stop. Your master fader. All of these in Reaper with this blue line are currently going to this master fader here. The drum bus is fine. This needs to go here. All of these, no. They're getting on the bus. So what we're going to do is highlight all those faders or people. So I'm going to click on the first person or fader I want to join the bus, move along to the last fader or person I want to join the bus, hit shift and left click to select them all. So to get all of these faders or people on the bus, the first thing we need to do is take them out of the bus stop. So this is routed to your master fader or your bus stop. So you want to alt click with them all highlighted and left click click it'll take them all out of the bus stop your master fader and now we can put them on the bus so to put them on the bus all you want to do is hover over the routing icon and left click and drag that until you see the jack drop it and there you go this fader is now in the drum bus and you're just going to want to drag this bit into each fader that you want to sit on that bus so now when we go to play the drums back we can control the entire drum kit with just one fader. Instead of having to go through each individual fader to turn down what we might need to turn down, or if the drums are too loud as a hole in a mix, we can literally just go to that one fader and pull everything down or pull it all up. And this is perfect for if you've already got a great sounding drum mix, but it's sitting too high in a mix, and you can just literally drop everything down that couple of bits without having to alter everything else that you've done but there's more you can create buses for literally everything in your mix here i have an overhead bus which controls left and right overheads that gives me more control over the symbols and then i can control my close mics from the toms to the kick the snare and the snare bottom mics separately once i start working through this mix and adding guitars and stuff I'll add a tom bus. I, I normally like to control the toms separately. If I'm going to trigger the kick drum, I'll add a kick bus so I can control and blend both of the triggered kick and the original kick to help it sound and keep it natural. So to finish this video off, I'll talk about one final bus, which is the parallel compression bus, which is a godsend when it comes to drums. Oh, for the parallel compression bus, we're just gonna add another bus here, and I'm gonna call this drum crush you can call it what you like you can call it drum parallel compression drum compression i call it drum crush because i seen glenn fricker from youtube do it and his mix was fucking crushing at the time so i've just stuck to that anyway for this all you need to do is create your bus and literally just drag over there that's your drum bus going to drum crush now i'm going to put that right down the bottom so that is silent and I'm going to add a compression plug in here. I go to drum compressor is the SSL G channel it is absolutely amazing and you will not need anything else. So once you've added a compressor to your parallel drum compression or your drum crush channel you're just going to want to play your mix and you're going to want to aim on your compressor for around about two to three dbs of compression. Also I like to use slow attack and a fast release obviously it is down to your ears what you prefer but this is mine so i'm getting around about 2 db of compression for close to 4 db in the higher tom bits which is perfect it's keeping everything level so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this fader up and you should be able to hear it kick in
it gives your drums so much life. And that's fine for me there. But in a nutshell, this is how you set up a drum bus and a parallel compression bus. Again, I hope this helps somebody and have a great fucking day, guys.